Let's try to avoid nuance, Senator. Do you support gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. That is basically a decision to be able to be left to the face and people who practice their face determination what you call it. I'm curious. You know, the president has said that his views on gay marriage, on same-sex marriage, have evolved. But he's opposed to it. You're opposed to it. Have your views evolved? Look, uh, I just think uh, that uh, the good news is that as more and more Americans be come to understand what this is all about is a simple proposition. Who do you love? Who do you love? And will you be loyal to the person you love? And that's what people are finding out is what, what all marriages at their root are about. Well, whether they're marriages of lesbians or gay men or heterosexuals. Is that what you believe now? That's you, what I believe. And you're comfortable with same-sex marriage now? I, I Look, I am vice president of the United States of America. Um, the president sets the policy. I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying women are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. And quite frankly, I don't see much of a distinction uh, beyond that. In the second term, will this administration come out behind same-sex marriage, the well, institution of marriage? I, I, I can't speak to that. Uh, I, 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 I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you... It sounds that, like you'd like to see it happen, if that's well, where the president Well, the president to. continues to fight, whether it's don't ask, don't tell, or whether it is making sure across the board that you cannot discriminate. Well, look at the executive orders he's put in place. Any hospital that gets federal funding, which is almost all of them, they can't deny a partner from being able to have access to their 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 partner's ill or making the call on whether or not they, you know, it's just, this is evolving. And by the way, my measure, David, and I take a look at when things really begin to change, is when the social culture changes. I think Will and Grace probably did more to educate the American public than almost anything anybody's ever done so far. And I think people fear that which is different. Now they're beginning to understand. They're beginning to understand that this, as a base, I, I, I was, was speaking to a group of gay leaders in, in Los Angeles uh, last, two, two weeks ago. And one gentleman looked at me in the question period and said, let me ask you, how do you feel about us? And I had just walked into the back door of this gay couple and there were their two adopted children. And I turned to the man who owned the house. I said, what did I do when I walked in? He said, you walked right to my children. They were seven and five, and giving you flowers. And I said, I wish every American could see the look of love those kids had in their eyes for you guys. And they wouldn't have any doubt about what this is. The fact of the matter is, you may recall, I'm the first person nationally to come out and say in front of everyone, I didn't have to go through any period of adjustment. I came out on Meet the Press in support of gay marriage before anybody else did nationally that was on the ski, number one. And the reason I did is I didn't have to evolve. I had a father who I remember was dropping me off one, when I was a senior in high school to get an application for a job at the city hall to be a lifeguard. And I saw two men in our town square dressed in their suits, kiss one another and go in different directions. And I turned and looked at my dad. And he said very simply, he said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other, period. That's the only question, the only question. And I had been a strong, strong advocate. My son was set up, my son Bo said, the one was deceased, set up the Bo Biden Foundation to deal with children who were abused and for gay and lesbian children and transgender children. He passed the first transgender law in Delaware as attorney general to make sure that, in fact, there was no discrimination and so on. So I'm very proud of my record. The president had used his radio address uh, yesterday and tomorrow in the Rose Garden to talk about a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. You know, think about this. The world's going to Hades in a handbasket. We are desperately concerned about the circumstance relating to uh, avian flu. We don't have enough vaccines. We don't have enough police officers. And we're going to debate the next three weeks, I'm told gay marriage, a flag amendment, and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law. 
the Defense of Marriage Act. We've all voted, not where I voted, and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? Do you support gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that.